Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a good old fashioned luxury haul. I mean doing a little bit of shopping and taking some things off my wish list. A lot of these items I've had my eye on for a very long time so I am crazy excited about everything. It is a complete mix of everything. So I have a bag in here, I have a couple of pairs of shoes, I have some clothes, just a complete mix. I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up, I have a pair of shoes and I have probably been after these for about two years now. Not for lack of trying, like I knew I wanted them, but for some reason it has been so difficult to get them. I feel like they're not particularly widely stocked and every time I try to, they're out of my size or I had to pay like crazy markups, like there was always a reason why I couldn't get them. And I finally found them on Farfetch and I am just so crazy excited. So I'm gonna show you which ones they are. They're from Jambito Rossi, as you can probably tell from the box. And Jambito Rossi are by far my favorite luxury shoemaker. For me, the quality is just so amazing. They're so comfortable and like the boutons are great, but they are not the comfiest shoes. Whereas I feel like you really don't sacrifice comfort when it comes to Jambito Rossi's. They look beautiful, but they are so great on your foot, I can wear them for hours and I'm just like the biggest fan. Um, so the ones that I was finally able to get, that they are the classic black pump and I know these probably don't seem like they'd be that difficult to get, but in the black variety in the 85 mil, which is what this is, it is just so tricky to find these and I have tried so many times. I do have the block heel version, which I also love, but I really wanted the thin heel version as well. And for whatever reason, they just don't stock these that many places. And if they do, they pretty much always sell out immediately, I guess because they're not that easy to find. It is the perfect, perfect classic pump though. It is a black suede. It's a really deep black. It's just so lush and beautiful. Like it really does feel like a luxurious shoe. You have that beautiful pointed toe right there. It's very well balanced as well. Like it's quite a lightweight shoe. It is extremely comfortable as a result. It is just a very, very elegant shoe. I love the look of it. I feel like they're very flattering on the foot as well. And obviously they're not slippers, um, but I can definitely wear these for so much longer than other heels of this heel height, of this tight usually a couple of hours and I'm done and I can wear these for hours and hours and I'm still good to go. They're just fantastic, like I cannot get enough. You guys will know if you follow my fashion videos how much I wear my nude colored ones, like pretty much every single video I'm in those heels and that's why I've been after the black ones for so long. So I am crazy excited. I was finally able to get them. I anticipate getting a lot of use out of these. I just love them to bits and I could not be more thrilled. In terms of sizing, um, I have gotten a lot of questions about sizing of these. Um, for me, they do run true to size. I'm still in my usual size. Um, I know a lot of people message me saying that your feet can get bigger during pregnancy. So far, mine haven't. I only have like seven and a bit weeks to go. So I'm hoping that maybe I got away with it. I don't know if maybe they're gonna get bigger in the last seven weeks, um, but fingers crossed. I just went with my normal shoe size and they fit great. Um, so hopefully that will continue. Um, but for me, these do fit true to size um, and they are very, very comfortable. As I mentioned, I did find these on Farfetch and Farfetch were nice enough to part sponsor this video with me. I worked with Farfetch a few times before and they really are just such a go-to for all things luxury and they are fantastic for finding slightly more difficult to find items like my Jambita Rossi's because their stock selection is so great. And the reason for that is because when you're shopping from Farfetch, you're actually shopping from boutiques all around the world. So the stock selection is completely vast whether you're looking for a pair of Jambita Rossi shoes or a Saint Laurent bag or a particular piece of clothing. Like they really do just have pages and pages for any given item. I do have a few items from Farfetch in this video. So I will make sure to include links for everything in the description section if you wanted to check anything out. 
they were nice enough to give me a discount code as well so you can take 10% off your order including Jambita Rossi so my favorite ever shoes you can get 10% off as well as just so many other items I will include all the T's and C's and the details for that discount code in the description section but definitely a good one if you did have something on your wish list and wanted to nab a bit of a discount Next up are a pair of boots that I got and I've been after a nice pair of kind of high heeled ankle boots which had I guess more of a block heel. I do have quite a few ankle boots but a lot of them are more the kind of um, like sandy coloured low heeled ankle boot. Like I have a lot of that style but I wanted something just I guess a little bit more glam um, and I saw these and I thought they were absolutely perfect. Um, so comes in the big old black box. And here they are, they are these beautiful block heeled ankle boots and I just think these are absolutely stunning. These are the same brand as my knee high boots, if you followed me last year, these are pretty much the only boots I wore in terms of like longer high heeled ones. I fell in love with the style, they are just absolutely gorgeous, so much so that I actually own these in chestnut as well. But they go with everything, they don't slouch, they're very very comfortable and I just think they're fantastic. So I looked at the brand again this year, saw these, and I just thought they were right up my street. So I'm gonna undo all the packaging. So it does have a little bit of a curved hem right there, so you have a little bit of dip. Very, very flattering. You do have a very high heel, but despite the fact that it is very high, these are actually very comfortable. And I did find that to be true of my knee-high ones as well. Very, very comfortable. Like, I do think it helps it has the block heel. You just get that added bit of stability. It feels really great on your foot. And they're just very comfortable to wear, especially for such a high heel. You have this beautiful stitching detail right there and you have these little tabs so they're actually very easy to get on and off. These are black suede as well and you do have that beautiful almond toe so again very very flattering. And I just thought these were absolutely gorgeous. I've had the best experience with my other boots and I said in a different video but I was looking for pretty much that exact style and I was willing to spend you know up to a thousand. They came way under that. I wasn't familiar with the brand before. I had looked at gosh so many different brands like Valentino I looked at, Le Bouton, like so many different styles settled on those and they have just been the best buy and I've been actively like excited to wear them this year and hopefully these will just be just as good and just as successful. I love the style, I do think that they're gonna go with everything, just a really nice alternative to a longer boot if you wanted something a little bit shorter and I just think these are fantastic so I am over the moon excited about them. Um, I have seen, so these are also included in the 10% offer and my black knee high ones have been restocked and those are also included in the discount code as well. I already feel like they are a very, very good price, especially for the quality that you're getting, but obviously if you can get a discount, even better. And yeah, I just think they are fantastic and I am so thrilled with these, they are just the cutest boots. And now for the bag that I got, um, so this is a mulberry one which I have had my eye on for a very long time and this is a kind of, um, I guess it's like a redesign of their original which was the one I had my eye on um, but I never pulled the trigger um, just because I thought it was maybe a bit similar to something else I had but then I saw the redesign and I just absolutely loved it. Um, so. It is right up my street. Um, if you know my style of bags, you know I might be partial to a white or an ivory colored bag. And this is not bucking that trend. So here it is. It is the Mulberry Lily redesign. So the difference between this one and the original one is that the original one just came with the longer strap, whereas this one comes with the short strap as well. So you can wear it as a top handle, which I thought was just such a great design addition. It is so gorgeous in real life. I just think it's absolutely stunning. Um, so the hardware is a very, very pale gold, like very, very pale indeed. I'd say it's almost like a champagne gold. The top handle chain is a little bit of a chunkier one. And then you do have a longer, thinner chain right there, which you can use just wear on your shoulder. So it is pretty versatile. I think it's good to wear it both ways. I love the fact that you do have that top handle option. You have the famous Mulberry turn lock right there in the front. Nothing on the back and nothing on the base either. And then on the inside, it's actually really, really roomy. Like there is a ton of space on the inside. It's completely unlined. So even though it is a full leather, and I always feel like Mulberry leather is such beautiful quality, I don't feel like it's overly heavy. In fact, I'd say the heaviest part is actually the hardware because it is quite substantial. And then you do have that large pocket right there on the back. You have the care card as well. 
And as you can see, you're just gonna be able to fit so much in there. I do feel like it's not the most structured of bags though, so I do already have a bag liner. I feel like this is like one of those children's like art shows where it's like I came prepared but um, I did come prepared with a bag liner uh, just because I knew as soon as I saw this it's just you know it's not particularly structured and I wanted that structure just to kind of keep it shaped so this is another liner I got from Handbag Angels and it just kind of fits in and it just adds like that nice little bit of structure which is what I think it needs so I would definitely say if you're looking at this bag I do think it benefits from a liner as well it doesn't really add any weight it just adds that nice little bit of structure and that is what it looks like and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. The colour is exactly the same as my Mulberry Mini Alexa which you guys will know I just absolutely adore. I wear it all the time still. A really nice white as well. Like it is a very pale colour obviously but it's not like a stark white at all so I'd say it's more like an ivory off white. A very very nice shade. It goes with everything and I just think this is beautiful and so I am over the moon excited about it. It was definitely the top handle element that kind of pushed me over the edge. Just such a great design and just such a stunning bag for Mulberry. This one is also included in the discount code from Farfetch as are all the different Mulberry styles. So their tote bags, their Mulberry mini Alexas, like the whole range is included and it's just such a great opportunity to get a discount, especially off some of their more popular styles which really rarely go on sale. I just think these kind of bags never date and obviously the discount is even better if you can have it. Next up is a coat and this is actually a repeat purchase. Um, I do already own this in another colour and I've spoken before about my love for this particular style. It is my favourite S Max Mara coat. Of all the different ones I have and I've tried, this by far is my favourite. Saw they released it in the camel colour and I just couldn't resist. Um, I just think it's so so beautiful and um, let me try and adjust the coat hanger. So it is a very, very classic style um, and this is the same cut as my navy one which I got, I can't remember whether it was actually last year or the year before, um, but it's pretty much been my most worn coat since. Um, it's a really easy going wrap style and I love S Max Mara anyway, I think they're beautiful quality, um, but this coat in particular, it's very streamlined, um, very chic and just very elegant and easy to wear. I feel like sometimes S Max Mara coats can be a bit more on the boxy side, whereas this is cut a lot more slimmer, um, so for me it's much more flattering. And anyone I know who's tried this style of coat on has been like, oh my goodness, I understand what the fuss is about. And it is like an instant, like you put it on, you're like, oh my goodness, like this is really, really nice. And that's exactly how I feel about it. So when I saw they released it in new colors, I just could not resist. Um, I do already have a camel coat, but I justified it just by how much I adore the style and how much use I get out of my navy one. It isn't lined um, as with all S Max Mara coats. I don't think I've had a single one that's been lined actually. Um, but even so, it is very, very warm indeed. The material and fabric is so dreamy and so soft. It's really, really lovely to the touch. The camel tone isn't overly yellow. Um, it's a very nice kind of, almost like a beigey chestnut, um, quite light so it's not overly dark. I looked at this one and the oatmeal colored one, um, but this one I thought was more flattering on my skin tone. You do have the tie as well. And for me, this is just like the perfect, perfect wrap coat. It is a bit more on the long side, um, so it's definitely not a short one. You do also have these pockets on the side which are more of like the seamless hidden type as well. And I just think this is so elegant and lovely. I think it looks great and fastened. I also think it looks great tied up. Like it really does just look good any single way you choose to wear it. And I am just obsessed with this entire line of coats. Like if they release them in every color, I would want them in every color. They are that great. And I'm just thrilled a bit to that. I think it's so lovely. And then finally, I have one more clothing pick and it's this beautiful asymmetrical sweater which I saw and I just absolutely loved. Um, I did size up so I can comfortably wear it um, kind of, you know, all the way throughout winter. But I would say that I do think that it runs a tiny bit small anyway, um, but for me this is a very nice comfortable fit. And I just thought this was beautiful. Um, it came in the white as well, like a cream. I was a little bit concerned that that might be a bit see-through, so I went for the dark gray. And actually, I think this is a really lovely color. It's kind of like um, a charcoal gray, so really dark and lovely, but a nice alternative to black. You may be able to tell, but I'm really enjoying my off-the-shoulder sweaters at the moment. This one is a little bit more of a fine knit one. It is extremely soft though, and it is a little bit more um, kind of loose in the body. Not super baggy or anything, but it's not a super tight fit. 
so very, very comfortable to wear. You have a very slight bat wing sleeve, um, very subtle indeed though, and it does go into a fairly slim ribbed sleeve. Very, very nice, easy to roll up if you always roll up your sweaters like I do. And you kind of position the neckline to how you want, which I always really like. And it's just the softest, dreamiest thing, like really, really comfortable, very classic. And I cannot get enough of this fabric, just so dreamy and soft. So that is it for this video guys, I hope that you enjoyed it, as always I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below, if you have any questions for me then leave me a comment, and if you enjoy luxury unboxing videos please do give us a thumbs up. As always thank you so much for watching, I will see you in my next one, bye guys!